Greetings of the day, sir. Myself, Itartha Grawal from Class 8. I am from Kisan International School. In this video, I will be explaining you the PPT in short and the same PPT will be shared to you on Google Classroom. This is the position PPT on problem number 2, droplet microscope. So let's begin. Let's see what the problem statement is. By looking through a single water droplet, Placed on a glass surface, one can observe that the droplet acts as an imaging system. Investigate the magnification and resolution of such a lens. According to my review, I would appreciate the efforts made by the reporter, but I would also like to add some of the points uh, in the PPT which would make the PPT more better understandable. So let's begin. Uh, the, first of all, I will be uh, explaining you the things which were gone right. F uh, firstly, a good basic explanation. She has shown that water acts as a convex lens. Then there was a good sophisticated science communication. Uh, like there was a clear structure. Then helpful visualization. Example for simple, simple microscopy setup. Then the things those could have been improved were that there was no reason given for why magnification occurs. The answer to this would be magnification occurs as a result of refraction of light, which is bending of light rays. This could have been mentioned in the PPT to make a better understand uh, 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 understandable conclusions. Some aspects of the task were not fulfilled. Uh, example, water droplet. Reporter only used water droplet for the experiments and all other things. For example, has not used alcohol droplet or drop of soapy water. Uh, according to the theory, the magnification changes by using different types of uh, water, uh, different types of droplets. Like uh, if we use alcohol droplet and water droplet, then alcohol droplet gives us less magnification and water droplet gives us more magnification. Then the things which were not considered were there was no mathematical analysis given to find focal length. Uh, this must have been given so that uh, to understand the formula and other things. Then the diameter of the drop was neglected. As Now according to the theory, as the diameter of the drop increases, magnification of the drop decreases and vice versa. Now let's see one by one. The experiment uh, in the experiments, uh, what were the things which were gone right? So the things which were gone right were a suspended water droplet was used as a lens. Then the things which could have been improved were uh, make use of droplets of multiple objects, as we saw earlier, to use uh, droplets of uh, different uh, objects like glycerine, alcohol, soapy water, etc. Then make use of different size droplets. Like uh, according to the theory, the uh, magnification changes with the uh, use of different size droplets. Then take various readings so that to make sure that we get more accurate results. Then to establish correlation between the theoretical and experimental results with those based on the analytical formula. So first of all, uh, so first of all, so uh, she should give mathematical analysis for everything, uh, which uh, uh, which she has found out like focal length, and then uh, with the help of that, she should build the correlation between theoretical and experimental results with the uh, help of the mathematical analysis and analytical formula. Then she can find out, uh, then with the same, she can find out the accuracy of the theoretical results with respect to the calculated ones. Then in the experiments, the things which were not considered were the reporter has considered only one kind of object, that is single water droplet. However, theory says that magnification changes with change of droplets of different objects like soap water, alcohol, thick substance like glycerine, etc. The reporter uh, has not considered different size droplets. However, theory says that power of lens, that is magnification, changes with the change in the size of droplet. Now we will move on to the theory. 
The things which were gone right in the theory were she has shown that due to surface tension phenomenon, water droplet acts as a convex lens. It was a, a better thing. Uh, then has ex she has also explained the benefits of making such a microscope, like uh, in the economic uh, thing and ex uh, everything. Then the things which were could have been improved in the theory were to establish the correlation between the theoretical and experimental results with based on the analytical formula. Then to work out the mathematical analysis to find the focal length using the formula. Then uh, work out the analytical formula based solution for resolution of microscope. Here she has only given <clears throat> theory for the resolution of microscope. So it, it would be better to get the analytical formula based for, for us based solution for the same. Then to find out the accuracy of theoretical results with respect to the calculated ones, it, it can be done with the help of mathematical analysis. Then uh, in the theory, the things which were not considered were no reason for why magnification occurs. Uh, it, it would be as a result of refraction. Then diameter of drop is neglected as we saw earlier. Uh, in then not the, she has not explained the limitations for using this microscope. For example, evaporation. The reporter has also not supported her findings with any mathematical or analytical uh, justification to find focal length. The task was mostly fulfilled. Uh, only just uh, these uh, few things uh, must be added in the PPT. If these things would be added in the PPT, then it would be uh, the understandable and be like best PPT. Like uh, no things would be wrong in that PPT and uh, everything would be good enough. Thank you.